to find uh, liberty, to protect freedom would have been successful. Because all of the things that we have that are good, those things come from you. And we thank you for that and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The choir is going to be singing a song called Read the Bread. It's from before, and it's a simple truth of how did the Lord show his love for us? Well, it says in Romans 5 8, God demonstrated his love for us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. This is the song written. Uh.
And, um, and anyway, it's going to be on the 22nd in the morning service. And so the Oakville Noise are going to have rehearsal up to that point. And since we had to work, on, up, work those songs up, and so we will have rehearsal tomorrow at 1.30, as we normally do. And so uh, I just want to just let you know about the Joyful Noise Choir. We're going to be doing a, a, good, a good many musicals, a Thanksgiving musical. So, uh, so look, look forward to that. Okay, we have a couple songs we're going to be singing as congregation right now. Uh, this first one is We Believe. We've been singing this the last couple of weeks. And uh, it is a wonderful song of faith. It's a song that we display and declare what we believe in. We're believing in the Lord, in God the Father, believing in Jesus Christ, in the Holy Spirit, the crucifixion, the resurrection, the soon return. And then we're singing a song, all, again, about faith, about leaning on the everlasting arms. So let's, let's, uh, let's go ahead and stand and sing these two songs together.
this morning. Uh, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm not going to ask everyone to sit down right now, but I am going to ask uh, if you are a veteran to remain standing and then if everyone else will sit down. And this week we're celebrating Veterans Day. And uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like y'all to look around and uh, see the veterans that are around you. And uh, all these people have, uh, these veterans have at least three things in common. Uh, well, these veterans have at least four things in common. Uh, and what I'd like to do is share their service uh, is one thing that they have in common with each other. Their service to their country, uh, to their fellow Americans. The sacrifices that they've made, uh, the time away from their family, uh, and, and their loved ones, and then their commitment to serve others before they serve themselves. And the fourth one uh, that I'm going to add is uh, their commitment to God. And we thank you for that. And uh, I would just like y'all to recognize these guys uh, with a round of applause. Thank you, thank you for your service. Now we'll go to the Lord in prayer. Lord, I thank you for this wonderful day. And I thank you for this group that we have here. The new faces. The choir law filled up, Lord beautiful music that they sang and each one of those uh, songs is, is I was sitting standing there and thinking that uh, they're just that's a prayer to you Lord each one of them uh, how we will remember you <clears throat> when the times get tough you know if we just look back and we remember you Lord and leaning on your everlasting arms just how good you are to us, Lord. Lord, we thank you uh, for how you love us, Lord. And we thank you for how you provide for us. And Lord, I pray that you would be with those that aren't here today, that couldn't make it for some reason, Lord. But that you would just uh, send an encourager their way and lift them up. Lord, I thank you for uh, this church and all the young, young kids I see, Lord. But I just pray that they would uh, hold you in their heart and that they would make a commitment to you to love you because that's what it's going to take to make it through this world. Lord, I thank you for all the uh, church family that encourage and love one another here. And I thank you for this church. And Lord, I thank you for our pastors. Um, I thank you for Nick and what he does with the youth. And for Dan, uh, with that music today, Lord, it was just so uplifting. And we thank you for that. And Lord, I just pray that uh, you would continue to protect each and every one of them. And Brother David, you would put a hedge of protection around him. Uh, as, he, as he deals with so many things, Lord, that we don't even know about. Lord, that you would send people his way to encourage him and love on him. And Lord, again, I thank you for uh, all that you do. And Lord, I pray that if there's a, a lost person in here today, that they would come to know you and know how great you are and the mighty things that you can do because you love us so much and you made the ultimate sacrifice giving your son to die on the cross for, for us. And Lord, uh, I thank you for that. In your name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Jeff. Well, we could just do an invitation. But you're not getting off that easy. Today is certainly a, a day of acknowledging and recognizing how God has blessed us as a nation uh, 
to be able to have the ability to protect the liberty that he gave us, that he would use the things that he's placed in our hands to help